One Ton Life is presented by Vattenfall, Volvo and Ahus. In this episode of One Ton Life, the Lindells have returned to their own home, but they are still driving their Volvo C30 electric. The car is recharged as usual in their driveway, using the handy charge socket, even though the electrical charge unit is not installed here. The move went well since they did not have far to go, but what does it feel like to return home after six months? Getting home to my original house feels great, because home is still home. The sun is shining. The last time I was here, there was lots of snow. It was winter and we were just about to start this project. Now the family have returned home and I have brought with me a small present that will allow them to continue living a smart life. Hello. Hello, Hannah. Hi. It's been six months since I was here. Hi there. So what's it feel like to be back here now in your old surroundings? It's nice, but a bit strange. We missed the other house. I think I haven't really, like, it hasn't really come to me yet that we are living here now, that we aren't going to go back. It's, it has happened so soon, so I mean, it doesn't really feel that, like we are living here yet. So I think I need a few weeks to really take it in. And I think I'm gonna start missing the one to life house soon. And I'm definitely going to miss all the technology that we had there, I mean, here, if you want to boil water, it takes forever. <laughs> Today, Lasse came and visited us, and he brought the energy watch with him, so we're going to use it in this house as well. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't think we will be as happy to see the numbers from this house, because they are not going to be as good. But it's, it's still good to get an idea about how climate smart or non-climate smart we are in this house. So we continue on. I mean, we're not supposed to go back entirely to our life. We want to keep some habits and some behavior. This device here is going to help you. Your electricity bill is about five times higher here compared with the OTL house. But this box is going to help you identify the big power consumers. You stick this onto your electricity meter. This box collects all the information and transmits the data via radio using this dongle that you insert into your computer. So you can also monitor power consumption on your computer. Right, now it's just a matter of attaching these items. Let's go test it. I'd like to bring all the kitchen appliances and other equipment from the hotel house. We have a really noisy freezer here. And of course, it's great to have energy watch fitted here. We can continue to see how much electricity we're using and actually get feedback. The fact is, it was amazing help to be able to monitor our everyday power consumption. I think I'm going to miss the one-ton life house because all, all of the solar panels, the technic, uh, the things we didn't have. I really hope not. it's not over, this project. I hope that we can do a follow-up with this family in maybe four, six months when they are back in their old home environment and see what learnings are they still living according to, what was easy to kind of change habits in your life, uh, and what, were, what was more difficult. Uh, what issues do you really need that daily support from a retailer to be able to, to, to do? So I, I hope we can do a follow-up and keep in touch with this family. I would think that part of the project will continue to live. I think uh, part of the method to monitor the family's uh, uh, emissions might be used in other projects, similar projects, with some different angle. I also think that um, there might be one-ton life houses in other places. And of course also the products that have been used in this project will be sold and used. So, it's part of the product I would suggest will continue to live. We already have new projects on the way, and we're already building multi-story houses with passive walls, solar panels and the other new technology that we've carried with us into our taller buildings. So for us, this is just the beginning. 
It's just a small part of our overall operation. It's a little part of our operation. Now we bring these learnings that we have from this project and apply them in our separate businesses. Uh, and of course we will continue to work with uh, advice around how you can use your energy more efficient. We will absolutely continue to work uh, along uh, implementing the infrastructure for electric vehicles. And we will continue to build partnership with other industries in the future. Uh, and of course individual things we've learned a lot about what is really making a big difference in, in the respective families' houses here. So uh, this is just the beginning of a learning. When it comes to transportation, we have really changed our behavior. We, we used to have two petrol-driven cars and were really dependent on them, especially my wife, me as well. And, and that was a worry in the project, what will happen driving just one environmentally friendly car. And, but it really has worked out well. So now we are going to trade off our two former cars to one environmentally friendly. A short conclusion of this Wanton Life project for Volvo will be that it is easier than one can imagine to drive a C30 electric car. You get there, you drive, you plug it at home, no worries, you just continue as you did before. But the big thing, you reduce the CO2 with, uh, to almost zero. Second conclusion is that the V60 plug-in hybrid is so many that ask questions about that will be a car that will fit the big mass of people. And third is that our carpools with Volvo Green Car Drive is something that works very well. We have learned a lot during this half year, uh, both on the personal level and uh, how different behaviors impact uh, society and, and the climate issue. And we have on a personal level come to believe very firmly that it, we have to continue uh, and use what we have learned and hopefully that all our friends, everybody in Sweden, in Europe and the rest of the world really tries out because unless we really try our future might not be as bright as we want it to be. I'm using my know-how at work too. We operate five preschools and cook food for all five. I've introduced or rather tried to inspire our catering staff to adjust their habits and prepare climate smart dishes. So there's less meat, more lentils, more ecologically sound alternatives, more vegetables, all seasonal. It's great fun because that's where the big challenge is, to make a difference in society and not just in one's own home. It's not only for us, I mean, this life can be for anyone, for everybody. In the future, everybody needs to live this life. So it's better to start now. I mean, why wait when we know that we need to be there in 50 years? There's no place like home, as they say. And back in their own home, the Lindals are returning to their everyday routine. A little climate smarter than they were before they started the project. Six months of expert assistance and exciting cutting-edge technology have left their mark and we hope our viewers too have learned a lot from the Lindell family's one-ton life journey. If you are interested in finding out more about the Lindell family's continued journey after their one-ton life experience, do get in touch via the project's website. <laughs>